And let's bring in Savita Subramanian. She is head of U.S. Equity and ESG Strategy at B of A Securities. Good to see you, Savita. Nice to see you as well. Um, there, there's been a few themes this month, I guess, which is this year, um, that have been dramatically somewhat different from what happened last year, right? You've seen a lot of risk appetite uh, picking up. Um, earnings season, not great, but seems like the market might have already been positioned for it. Where does that leave us? Up, you know, 6% in the S&P in less than a month. Yeah, 6%. Uh, so it feels like a pretty violent move. And I think a lot of it was, was really just really bearish positioning heading into the year. And one of the things that we look at is just sentiment across Wall Street by, you know, sell-siders, buy-siders. And there were two things that stuck out to me. Um, one, Wall Street asset allocation. Brokers lowered their allocation to stocks last year by six full percentage points. This is one of the fastest, biggest moves that we've seen in the history of our data. And they put all of that money in bonds. So everybody loves bonds at the beginning of the year. And then if you looked at hedge funds, hedge funds actually ramped up to a 40% net long exposure to regulated utilities, hmm. which is, you know, I mean, this is like the weirdest setup for, for you know, investors with risk appetites. So our view is, OK, if everybody loves bonds and hates stocks, it's probably not going to work in the, you know, in the beginning of the year. And I think that going forward, there is this prevailing assumption that rates are peaking out right now and they're just going to come down. Inflation is peaking. The Fed's probably going to pivot soon. I don't know if it's that easy. And I mean, when you look at the inflation measures, a lot of these stickier barometers of inflation are still relatively high. So... You know, I think that it's not a great setup for bonds yet either. So, yeah, it seems like the Fed's burden of proof for uh, thinking inflation is taken care of is still pretty high. Yes. Um, so you think yields have room to the upside? And I guess what does that mean overall uh, for other asset classes? I think yields have room to the upside. I mean, think about it, quantitative tightening. So we're moving from the two biggest buyers of the 10-year, the Fed and China, basically have left the building. And that demand vacuum, I mean, I don't know who's going to fill it. And, you know, if you look across the globe, central bankers everywhere are relatively tight. So I think this is an environment where we can't just bet on lower for longer everything. I think we need to think about, you know, rotating out of certain low rate beneficiaries into other parts of the market. And there are lots of really great opportunities right now in our view. I mean, there's a story you can tell just reading the market and saying, yeah, yes, people are underexposed to stocks coming into the year, but I'm seeing steel stocks hit new highs. Um, you see consumer cyclicals doing a little bit better. Right. Um, last year, the S&P went down, you know, 25 percent from high to low while earnings were still at a record. So maybe we've positioned for, you know, lower profitability. In other words, there's a bullish case to be made right now. But now it seems like it has to prove yes or no. There not. is a bull case to be made. And I think the bull case is exactly what you point out, which is, the market has decoupled, and we've seen new leadership from commodities, which I think are really interesting right now. I mean, when you look at commodities, this is a complex that actually has supply discipline today. And I think this is a game changer for commodities and commodity stocks. When you think about it, you know, oil companies are not flooding the market with extra supply. They're actually staying very disciplined in terms of production. Maybe they're producing right. too little. So, you know, earnings could get smoother for these areas of the market, whereas tech, which I think was, you know, the, the poster child for globalization, low interest rates, like everything that we enjoyed for the last 20 years, is maybe in the penalty box today for a little bit but longer is there than we a value